Central Virginia's longest running high school academic quiz show. Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And now, host Cheryl Miller. Hello and good morning. Thanks for joining us for Battle of the Brains. I'm Cheryl Miller. Our teams today have made it to round two of this season's competition. Joining us remotely, today's teams are the Green Dragons of Maggie Walker Governor's School, coached by Adam Rachi and Juanita Raswell. The Maggie Walker Governor's School for Government and International Studies is a regional magnet high school in Richmond, drawing students from 13 jurisdictions across Virginia. It's been recognized by Newsweek magazine as one of the most elite public schools in America. Also with us remotely today, the Commodores of Maury High School, coached by Tony Kershaski and William McCone. Opened in 1910, Maury High School is the oldest high school in Norfolk and is housed in a building that is an historic landmark. The school is home to the Medical and Health Specialties Program in association with Eastern Virginia Medical School. Welcome to all of our students. Great to have you with us remotely today. Now, because we can't all be together, here is how our game has changed this season. We will have toss-up rounds, but questions will be alternated by team, and there will be no point deductions for incorrect answers. Students who want to answer a question must raise their hand and then wait for me to call on them. All right, teams, good luck. Let's start the first toss-up round. The first question goes to the team from the Maggie Walker Governor's School. He defeated Abraham Lincoln for a Senate seat from Illinois in 1858. Who was this politician who sparred with Lincoln in numerous debates during this campaign? Barthy. Stephen Douglas. Stephen Douglas is correct. Maury, this man is a former Richmond mayor, former Virginia governor, and former Democratic vice presidential candidate. Name this current U.S. senator representing the Commonwealth of Virginia. Patrick. Terry McCullough. The answer is Tim Kaine. Maggie Walker Governor's School, there are seven colors in the visible spectrum of light. Which one of the seven is not mentioned in the following list? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. Bien. Indigo. Indigo is correct. Maury, name the two-word term for the flight data and cockpit voice recorder studied for clues when a plane crash occurs. Patrick. Um, the black box. Black box is correct. Maggie Walker, like his famous ancestor who had helped to overthrow the Etruscan kings of Rome, he participated in the assassination of Julius Caesar to stop the creation of a new monarchy. Who is this well-known conspirator? Sam. Brutus. That is correct. Mari. They could see that he had buck teeth with a little bit of a smile when his face was shown to the public for the first time in over 3,300 years. Name this boy Pharaoh, who ruled Egypt from the age of nine until his death at the age of 19. Ella. Um, King Tut. King Tut, King Tut and Common is correct. Okay. Maggie Walker, Governor's School. Also called rubiola, what name is given to this very contagious illness caused by the RNA virus and which can be prevented by an MMR vaccine? Barthi. Measles. Measles is correct. Mari, there were seven wonders of the ancient world. One of them was the Pharaoh's or lighthouse at what city? Patrick. Alexandria. Alexandria, Egypt is correct. Maggie Walker Governor's School, please watch the screen and listen closely. Here is your Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. What writer and The Daily Show host was a three-year starter for the William & Mary soccer team? And that would be late night show host, John Stewart. Maury High School, Mount Hood, Mount Rainier, and Mount St. Helens are peaks in which range of the Pacific Northwest? Patrick. Um, the Rocky Mountains. That would be the Cascades. Maggie Walker Governor's School, its five parts set the western boundary of Texas, abolished the slave trade in the District of Columbia, admitted California as a free state, and allowed slavery in New Mexico. Name this compromise that included the Fugitive Slave Act and was passed under Millard Fillmore. Sam. Compromise of 1850? That is correct. 
Maury, name the animal that formed the non-human half of the creature Theseus killed in the labyrinth, the Minotaur. Ella. Um, bull? Bull is correct. Maggie Walker Governor School, you may need your pencil and paper for this. You may want to write this down. What patriotic number do the following Roman numerals represent? M, D, C, C, L, X, X, V, I. Barthi. 1776. That is correct. And that buzzer means our first toss-up round is over. Good job by our team so far, but we're going to throw a lot more questions at them. Up next, we'll meet today's players, and then they'll take on the category round when Battle of the Brains continues. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. Here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. The Maggie Walker Governor's School with 60 points, Maury High School with 40 points. And we'll get back to our match just ahead, but first we want you to meet today's players. Let's start with our team from the Maggie Walker Governor's School in Richmond. Their mascot is the Green Dragons. And first up is Vien Wen, who is a junior. She enjoys learning languages, passionate about linguistics, an avid reader and aspiring writer, and enjoys drawing, painting, and sculpture, an artist in her free time. Next up is our team captain, Sam Lichman, who is a senior, is an a musician who plays viola with the Richmond Symphony Youth Orchestra, participates in Model UN in his free time. He likes to golf. Next up is Barthi Kancharla, who is a sophomore, is also passionate about music, likes to play the violin and sing, loves to bake, and hopes to become a teacher. And wrapping up our team is Sam McNamee, who is a sophomore who enjoys reading. He participates regularly in the Philosophy Club and is involved in the Model United Nations program. That is our team from the Maggie Walker Governor's School. Good to have you here in round two. Now let's meet our team from Maury High School. They are the Commodores. Their coach is Tony Kershawski. Patrick Stiles is a junior who wants to pursue an undergraduate degree in chemical engineering, enjoys swimming, making stained glass, and playing tennis, is also a musician, plays cello in the school orchestra. Our team captain for Maury High School is Reagan Heller, who is a junior, is in the medical and health specialties program at Maury, wants to become a pediatric anesthesiologist, will hope to major in chemistry in college. Hobbies include traveling, tennis, and playing the piano, another musician in the bunch. Emily O'Malley is a junior who would like to study biochemistry, is in the Maury course, also a musician, part of the Maury High School swim and tennis teams. And wrapping up our team for Maury High School is Ella Dorsey. Ella is a senior whose hobbies include watching movies and reading and intends to study and major in film studies in college. That's our team from Maury High School. Congratulations to our both of our teams for making it to the second round of this season. Now, for our category round, each team will select one 10-question category from today's choices. If the team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, they'll receive a 20-point bonus. Teams, take a look here at today's categories from which you may choose. They are legendary NFL quarterbacks, U.S federal agencies, bureaus, and commissions, and famous foursomes. We do note that in this round, only the captains can officially answer for the team, though they may confer with their teammates to try to come up with the correct answers. The high score team gets first choice of category. That is Maggie Walker Governor School. Sam, if you could please open your microphone, quickly talk it over with your teammates. Let me know what category you all would like to play. What do you think? Maybe the agencies? I guess you want the, the agencies? Agencies. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll take federal agencies. All right. Given the initials, name the following agency or organization they commonly stand for. NOAA, NOAA. National, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. That National is correct. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. That is correct. DEA. Department. Uh, drug, and, drug Enforcement. Drug Enforcement. Agency. Agency. Drug enforcement. Wait, Drug Enforcement what? Administration. administration. Drug Enforcement oh, administration. 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 Drug Enforcement Administration. Drug Enforcement Agency. EPA. Environmental, Environmental Protection Agency. Correct. SBA. B as in boy. SBA. Dreams pass. Okay, we'll, we'll pass. Okay, Small Business Administration. SEC. Securities and Exchange Commission. Securities and Exchange Commission. Correct. FEC. 
Federal Employment Commission? Sure, Federal Employment Commission? It's the Federal Election Commission, NIH. National, National Institute, Institute of Health. Health. National Institute of Health. That is correct. FCC. Federal. Commerce? And that's our buzzer. That is the Federal Communications Commission. All right. That's a bit of a tough category. Let's see how Maury High School does with theirs. It will either be legendary NFL quarterbacks or famous foursomes. Reagan, if you could please open your microphone and quickly talk it over with your teammates to let me know what category you would like to play. Famous foursomes. Famous foursomes. Is that your choice? Yes. All right. Complete each of the following foursomes in the Bible. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and... John. Correct. The Beatles, John, Paul, George, and... Ringo. Ringo. Correct. Card suits, hearts, spades, clubs, and... Diamonds. Correct. In the Old West, Wyatt, Virgil, and Morgan Earp, and... Pass. Doc Holliday. Mount mm. Rushmore, Washington, Jefferson, Lincoln, and... Franklin. Not even the president. No, no. no, pass. Theodore Roosevelt, the Musketeers, mm. Athos, Aramis, D'Artagnan, and Porthos. Porthos. Correct. House, houses of Hogwarts, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Correct. <laughs> Ghostbusters actors, Ernie Hudson, Harold Ramis, Dan Aykroyd, and Bill Murray. Bill Murray. Correct. Comic superheroes, Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, The Thing, and... Human Torch. Human Torch. Correct. And assassinated presidents, Lincoln, Garfield, McKinley... And Kennedy. we will not finish the question because time is up, but that was Ann Kennedy, John Kennedy. Some tough categories there. Good job by our teams, though. Coming up next, they'll take on another toss-up round when Battle of the Brains continues. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. Here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. The Maggie Walker Governor's School with 80 points, Maury High School with 75 points. And now it's back to Battle of the Brains in another toss-up round. Again, in our virtual season, questions are being asked alternating between the teams, and there are no point deductions for incorrect answers. We'll start this toss-up round with our team from Maury. Hyacinth and Linus were among these daughters of Zeus and Menis... Nemosyne, led by Apollo, named this group of inspirational goddesses that includes Cleo and Calliope. Patrick. The Muses. The Muses is correct. Governor's School. The Supreme Court's 1954 decision in the Brown versus Board of Education of Topeka case overturned the doctrine, doctrine of separate but equal facilities for blacks that had been established by which 1896 court decision? Sam. Plessy versus Ferguson. That is correct. Maury, name the man who coached the Green Bay Packers to back-to-back -back Super Bowl championships and for whom the Super Bowl trophy is named. Reagan. Heisman. That would be Vince Lombardi, the Lombardi trophy. Maggie Walker, these annelids have three jaws, each bearing 100 tiny teeth. This makes them ideal for tasks such as stimulating circulus, circulation after the surgical reattachment of severed fingers. Name these blood-sucking creatures. Marthy. Leeches. Leeches is correct. Maury, which Western Virginia city is the birthplace of 28th U.S. President Woodrow Wilson? Born 1856 in Stanton, Virginia. Maggie Walker, which word beginning with the letter M is used to designate the king or queen in a parliamentary system such as that of Great Britain? Marthy. Monarch. Monarch is correct. Maury, please watch the screen and listen closely. Here is your Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. What is the English translation of the Virginia state motto?
And the buzzer buzz, it's six Semper Tyrannus, thus always two tyrants. Maggie Walker Governor's School. The kinetic energy imparted in this effect depends not on the light's intensity, but its frequency. Name this effect explained by Albert Einstein that supported a quantum theory of light. Sam. The Tyndall effect? It would be the photoelectric effect or the Hertz effect. Maury, what ancient Greek philosopher and teacher of Plato was forced to drink hemlock for correcting, corrupting the minds of young Athenians? Ella. Socrates. Socrates is correct. Governor's school, hiccups are caused by involuntary spasms in what muscular structure that separates the chest from the abdomen? Arthi. The diaphragm. The diaphragm is correct. Maury, his famous story begins, all children except one grow up. What author created Neverland, Wendy Darling and Peter Pan? Ella. J.M. Barry. J.M. Barry is correct. Gave us a story for all time. Governor's School. In chemistry, this seven letter word describes most carbon compounds. What is this word that in agriculture refers to crops grown without artificial fertilizers or pesticides? Sam. Organic. Organic is correct. Maury, on September 11, 2001, two planes hit the World Trade Center, one hit the Pentagon, and one was brought down by passengers in a crash landing in what state? Reagan. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is correct. And that buzzer means one more toss-up round ahead, and we'll have today's winner here on Battle of the Brains. Stay right here. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. Here are the scores as we head into the final round here on Battle of the Brains. The Maggie Walker Governor's School with 130 points and Maury High School with 115 points. And in this final toss-up round, the point score for a correct answer is doubled. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer. And again, in this virtual version of Battle of the Brains, we ask questions to each team alternating between them. Anyone on that team may answer by raising their hand, waiting for me to call on them. All right, our final toss-up round starts with a question to the Maggie Walker Governor's School. He was an Indian fighter, frontier soldier, and president of the United States. Name this general, known as Old Rough and Ready, who even though outnumbered four to one, won a great victory at Buena Vista. Arthi. Harrison? It would be Zachary Taylor. According to Greek myth, Maury, this flower bloomed from the blood of a lover of Aphrodite who was accidentally killed. What is this red flower whose name is also associated with a term for a very handsome or ideal man? Ella. Adonis. Adonis is correct. Maggie Walker Governor's School. According to the U.S. Constitution, what is the minimum age a person must be to become a member of the House of Representatives? Sam. 25. 25 is correct. Maury High School. The Soviet Union launched the first communications satellite into orbit October 4, 1957, creating a spike in math and science education in the United States. Name this famous satellite. Patrick. Sputnik. Sputnik is correct. Maggie Walker Governor School, William Jennings Bryan unsuccessfully ran three times for President of the United States. William McKinley defeated him twice. Name the man who defeated Bryan for the presidency in 1908. Sam. Taft. William Howard Taft is correct. Maury, there are eight electrons in the outermost shell of each noble gas except for one, which has only two. Name it. Patrick. Helium. Helium is correct. Governor's School, in what book of the Bible can you find an account of a great flood sent by God as a punishment for mankind's wickedness? Genesis. Hands, please. Sam? Genesis. That is correct. Maury. 
After falling to capture Jerusalem in 1192, this leader of the Third Crusade concluded a truce with Saladin. On his way home, he was held hostage by Leopold V of Austria, named the son of Eleanor of Aquitaine. That would be Richard I, or Richard the Lionhearted. Governor's School, since 1950, the length of this body of water has shortened from 50 miles to 30, and its volume has fallen by a third. Name this low-lying, salty sea on the border of Israel and Jordan. Sam. Dead Sea. Dead Sea is correct. Maury. This band released its first new music in 40 years in 2021. Name the Swedish pop group that had hits with Mamma Mia, Fernando, and Dancing Queen. Patrick. ABBA. ABBA is correct. Maggie Walker, recently new versions include more analysis and less multiple choice, changes made to reflect new higher standards in secondary education. Name this battery of tests taken by people trying to earn a high school equivalency diploma. Arthi. GED. GED is correct. Maury, what is the name for the literary device or term that gives human characteristics to inanimate objects or animals? Patrick. Personification. That is correct. Maggie Walker Governor School in Humans, this is the single five inch long structure in the neck that's supported by rings of cartilage. Name this structure commonly called the windpipe. Sam. The sternum? That would be the trachea. And that buzzer is the end of our game. While our judges double check the final score, we want to remind you how to stay connected with us here at Battle of the Brains. If you'd like to find out more about our show, just log on to battleofthebrains.net. You'll also find Battle of the Brains on Facebook and full episodes of our show on our YouTube page. And as we continue round two of Battle of the Brains, join us next week when we virtually welcome teams from Western Branch High School of Chesapeake and Granby High School of Norfolk. It was close all the way. Now here's the final score for today's match, determining which team will continue to round three. Ending the match with 215 points, our team from Maury High School. Great job today by Patrick, Reagan, Emily, and Ella. Our winners today with a final score of 230 points, the team from Maggie Walker Governor's School. Congratulations to Vienne, Sam, Marthy, and the other Sam. Two Sams on the team today. Congratulations. We'll see you guys in round three. Guys and girls, I'm Cheryl Miller. Thanks for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains, and we'll see you back here next Saturday morning. Great match, teams. Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan.